the Czech Republic is planning to buy additional UHY Venom and AH-1Z Viper helicopters for its military. As Russia's invasion of Ukraine has demonstrated the country's existing fleet is, quote, insufficient. That's according to Defense Minister Yana Sernoshova. Sernoshova added the Ministry of Defense has all the prerequisites to catch up to the 2% of gross domestic product spending, which is part of NATO member countries' commitment to the alliance. During her recent meeting with U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, Sernochova discussed the ministry's interest in purchasing additional choppers made by Bell Helicopter because she said, it turns out the 12 machines the Czech military will receive next year are insufficient, and that's due to the situation in Ukraine. The number of helicopters the Czech Republic aims to acquire was not disclosed, but local industry observers expected Prague to purchase a further 12 helos on top of its first order. In 2019, the Czech government decided to buy eight UH-1Y Venom and four AH-1Z Viper Helos with related gear and services under a deal worth about $645 million. We now know why a B-2 Spirit stealth bomber skid off the runway in September. The incident happened at Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri and damaged the aircraft. A recent Air Force Global Strike Command investigation showed that the bomber's left main landing gear collapsed because it didn't provide enough pressure to keep it in its locked position. The springs hadn't been replaced in at least a decade and perhaps never, according to the report. It should have been replaced every nine years. Repair costs were estimated to be at at least $10.1 million in the report. The final cost could end up being much higher. The investigation said engineers need to take a closer look for internal structural damage to its left wing. The publicly released report does not get specific about the extent of the damage to the bomber's highly delicate, low observable stealth coating. There were no injuries resulting from the landing. The Air Force has 20 B-2s in its fleet, which cost about $1.1 billion apiece. The Spirit of Georgia was delivered to white men in December 1995. And around the world, Japan says Russian amphibious ships transiting through a narrow strait between its islands could be moving fresh forces from Russia's far east to Ukraine. Four landing ship tanks, including one with its deck full of military trucks, were seen sailing in the Pacific Ocean westbound in the middle of last week. That comes from an announcement by Japan's defense ministry. The ships were traveling in two groups. Photos released by the ministry showed the top deck of one ship with at least 17 military trucks. All four ships also have internal holds capable of carrying various cargo or troops. Japanese media reported the ministry believes the ships were bringing additional units from Russia's Far East to shore up its forces involved in the invasion of Ukraine. That claim was backed up by Ukraine's own defense ministry. And that's it from around the defense world. After the break, new training for Marines under a new enlisted structure and U.S. troops make a visible presence in Romania.